This week I decided to add a curtain to our door in preparation for installing it into our front porch project. Stay tuned and see how quick and easy this is to do. All right, so today we are prepping the door so it will be ready to go into our front porch structure. Now if you've made the door along with me, you might remember, we put a window in here. I want to give the dolls a little privacy. It also kind of disguises the interior a little bit. So I'm going to add a little cute little curtain to the inside of the door. And since this door is going to be glued in, I need to put this in before I install the door. So when I turn it over, I measured the window. The window is one and a half by two and a half. And I'm going to make a kind of a sheer little window treatment out of this six inch wide tool. You buy this on the roll at pretty much any craft or fabric store. Um, I know the Joanne Fabrics that I work at has it in two different places. It's in Bridal and it's also over near the uh, patterns and, and fabric and stuff. So we're going to cut a six inch piece of that, which will look like this. It's just, I know it's really hard to see on the mat, but it's there. I want you to fold it in half, and so we're not going to use all of this. We're going to use about half of it. But I want to, we need to sew a seam a quarter inch from this edge so that we've got a sleeve. And since this is really thin, I don't like to start right at the edge. I like to have extra so I can start in a ways, and then it doesn't get jammed down into my sewing machine. When that's done, you'll have something that looks like this. It's got a quarter inch seam. Now you could do the quarter inch seam by hand. If you don't have a sewing machine, a simple running stitch, we're never going to see that part of it at all. Then our next step, we're going to fold this in half. And I'm using a quilting ruler and a rotary cutter because I've got them. But you could use whatever you've got going to cut off a little bit. I'm going to make this about two, see it'll come out, I'm going to cut it about one and fold it in half, cut about one and three fourths, that will give me about three and a half inches of width. Alright, now we need two toothpicks, double check that, yep, yeah, that's, that's going to clear barely. I think I took a little more than a quarter inch seam on this one. I've got another one that I did the right seam allowance on. So we need a couple of little binder clips or clothespins, something to clamp. We need this and we need two toothpicks and some glue that will hold the net. Tacky glue might work, but I have better luck with the Beacons 3-in-1 or a clear fabric glue, which I cannot remember the name of off the top of my head. Now, after some experimenting, I discovered that putting the binder clip on the end makes it much easier to get this through the end. I'm going to fold the ends down to get it through. There we go. Now, I'm going to start on the top end I just want this kind of glue at the middle. Run a bead of glue along that toothpick. Whoops, I'm not on your camera. Run a bead of glue along the toothpick. And let that dry. When that glue dries, and it'll take a while, it won't take very long. When that dries, take the clamps off, put them on the other toothpick, and do the same thing on the other end down by the seam, so you have something that looks like this. Remember, this is going to be on the inside of the window, so it's okay if you're a little sloppy with your glue. I'm going to put a bead of glue right along the top of this. And I'm thinking I should have brought some clamps, but I forgot. Let that glue 
sit for just a second is fine because that will actually make it stickier. And we're going to push that toothpick down into that glue. And we're going to hold it. And I forgot to bring extra clamps, so I'm going to go get some clamps and clamp this and give it a few minutes to dry, probably 20 or 30 minutes, and then I'll be back and we'll glue the bottom half on. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, so that first batch of glue is dry, so now we are going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to run a nice bead of this. I do love this Beacon 3-in-1. It is, it has quickly become my favorite glue. I should do a new, I should update my favorite glues video. All right. Now that needs to dry. And this literally only sat for like 20 minutes and it's ready to go. As soon as this is dry, then going to decide if I want to, I think I will, clip this. Um, I've got some ribbon here. I think I can do this without drying it. Let's see. I'm still considering whether I want the ribbon. I'm going to have to wait for that glue to dry. So when the glue is dry, I'll be back and we'll work on it. All right. Now, in theory, my glue has set long enough that I can mess around with it and not pull that loose. I haven't decided for sure if I want a ribbon or not. I'm going to play with it. And this is just one of those inexpensive ribbons by the roll. This one is 3 eighths of an inch wide. See, I used my tweezers to kind of feed it under. And my idea was I wanted to do this. Do I like that? Yeah, I think I do. I may wish I hadn't done this. Let me see. What do I think? Yeah, I like that. Whoop, come back here. Come back here. Now I'm working on the roll so that it's a little bit easier to deal with. I can trim it to size when I get it done. And you could use whatever ribbon you've got. You could do this in a different color if you wanted. You could use a more solid fabric. It's all up to what you want to do. Super tight. I just want to have it so it pulls this in in the middle. Then I'm going to use these locking tweezers to grasp it. I'm going to double check. I want it up a little further. And I'm going to leave that to sit until that glue dries. And then I can trim it off and we'll look at the door. All right, so let's see how this looks. And remember, we're never going to see this back side. So it's okay if it's messy. It's going to be, this door is going to be glued in place. Here we go. I think that turned out really cute. It's a little off-center, but that's okay. It looks more lived in. It's way off-center on camera. I will... Let's see. I'll fuss around with it off-camera probably and get it more centered, but there we go. It is finished. I know this was a short video and a very quick project. I uh, apologize for that. I've just been really busy and really tired lately. I will put photos of this on the blog post. And next week, I hope to be back and get the window prepped to go in so that we can get everything assembled pretty soon. Then we can start working on the porch, the foundation, and the base. Thanks for watching. Be sure and check the blog post and I'll talk to you later. Bye.